Hello folks, uh, in this session we are going to essentially look at how to pass variables uh, to a thread and get the return value and also if there are exceptions in the thread how to trap them. Okay. Uh, so far what we have done is we have uh, called threads and uh, we have sent it values. We have seen uh, threads also you know we are spawning threads they do their thing and terminate and we also looked at you know spawning threads and then we are we would wait at a sync point or at a wait point and they would show up there and then we would proceed. So this time we are going to look at how to pass a variable to a thread which we've already seen and then how to uh, get back results okay and return values. So let's get started. I think I'm going to call this uh, callable thread. And what we'll do is we'll cre create a simple program where we're going to pass the sleep time that you know we have been using all along uh, you know to sleep and print messages. Uh, so we're going to pass it a sleep time and then once it gets the sleep time it's going to essentially multiply a 10 and a return back. Okay. So let us create one class here. Okay, I think I need an import. And then the callable will be of type long. This is an uppercase L. Then I'm going to say long sleep time. I'm going to create a constructor. And then I'm going to say this dot sleep time equal to sleep time. Like we had the run other place, we have a thing called call here. And it's going to return a type of long. Again, that has to match the other guy. And it throws exception. Okay. Next we do is so basically this is ready. We can put probably a sleep stress statement here. Okay. Let's long I can call it worker equal to new call it bull. okay then I'm going to create an executor service Now, executors has a lot of um, different things possible like cache thread pool, you know, schedule thread pool if you want to do run things in the future. Uh, I'm going to just use the um, single thread executor, but you can, uh, you should look at this and in the reference document for the possibilities. I think it needs a report. This guy also needs to throw exception. 
then once you submit the uh, once you have the executive service when you submit it you get a return value in a thing called a future which is of the same data type so we'll say future equal to executor service uh, dot submit and then task is worker Okay, I think it's an import executor future long executor service. What is it? Wrong? Import. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to straight print. Return value plus future dot get. So when you go to get, you are basically going to go into a wait mode. Okay, so it's going to wait here till the result comes back, and then it's going to print the statement. Okay, and uh, then I need to shut down. Okay. So I will say executor service dot shutdown. Okay, and I think I can add a statement here. System dot out dot print line started. Okay, I'll put this thing here. System dot out dot print line and uh, main. let us save this guy. Let's execute it and see what happens. So we started main and uh, returned value. Okay, so basically we are starting here and then we call it with this guy. And once it is, then it prints this guy out, then it uh, waits, and then when it comes back, the get returns, and we are getting the statement. So let's do again started main and worker thread and return value. Okay. So, so that's what's going on. A simple program, but you can see how to pass now values into a thread and get return values. The other thing which we are not probably going to demo is if you have an exception here, the throw, it, you know, this will be trapped here, it will be thrown off to the parent and it comes here and you can trap it here. So if you have a try catch block here, any exceptions here will be caught here automatically and then you can, you know, handle them. Likewise, if something else is calling this because we are throwing, uh, it would be passed on, okay. So that's in just how to uh, send variables to a thread and uh, get back results. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we will see you in the next session. If you like the video, please feel free to hit a like and uh, see you in the next session. Thank you.